there are like three for sure ways to make sure that your fragrance related YouTube video will be successful. One, have an extremely outgoing personality, whether that be crushing a box or doing spins and push-ups. Two, same day release fragrance reviews, which makes no sense to me. I don't understand how someone can buy a fragrance and then review it, have a total review the same day. Even more so, have a fragrance review on the same video that they're doing an unboxing. Having a total review, unless they unboxed it, then, you know, ways down the road they reviewed it then. Don't work in terms of actually reviewing a fragrance, but they work in terms of making your video successful. And number three is going to be making list videos. And well, you guessed it, that's what this video is. In today's video, I'm going to be going over 10 must smell summer fragrances. Now this list ranges from low end designer to high end designer to even niche. Number 10 on this list is going to be a compliment beast. For it being a fresh new designer, it lasts, it projects, it smells amazing. I'm not sure if I said it, but it pulls in compliments like crazy. Number 10 is going to be Dolce Gabbana Light Blue O Intense. This scent is as crisp as this bottle is. Guys, this stuff is intense. In a good way. And guys, I cannot say enough good stuff about this. The reason why I said number 10, not number 1, is because a lot of you guys don't like watching all the way through. So want to go ahead and give you guys one of the best ones up front. The best part of that fragrance, in my opinion, is the opening. It's going to be that frozen grapefruit accord that's there. It gives it a really nice chilling effect, especially on a hot day. Like today, for example, after lunch, it was around 90-something degrees. I put that on. It didn't necessarily cool me off, but it definitely made it feel like it was a bit cooler. It brought it down about 85 degrees or so. And again, guys, that is Dolce Gabbana Light Blue O Intense. For nine fragrance on this list that I would say would be a must smell for summer fragrances for men would be the one that is probably the priciest on this list, but it is one that stands out as king in terms of it being a summer fragrance. The King Suntan Lotion Vibe Fragrance. It is Creed Virgin Island Water. Like I said, this is basically going to be suntan lotion in a bottle in terms of a fragrance. It's going to be something that doesn't last the longest amount of time, but the amount of time, like let's say you, you want to wear it for about two hours, boom, this is where you want to go with it. If you're going to some kind of beach bar, any kind of you know beach theme thing in general, here you go. But whether it be vacation on some kind of yacht or whether it be some kind of vacation on some sandals resort, here you go. Like I was saying, the one downside of this is that it doesn't last a long time. Now, two of the downsides of this fragrance are going to be that it doesn't last a long time and it costs a bit of money. But luckily down in the description, you'll see bimbafragrances.com where you can get this for under 200 bucks. Which is pretty rare because if you go to some place like Nordstrom or the Creep Boutique, you're looking at paying about, about four, four to $500 for this. Bimba makes this accessible. Guys, that is suntan vacation in a bottle that is Virgin Island water. Now next, we're gonna dial it back some. We're gonna go way back in price. We're talking like rack store prices here, but basically low-end designer fragrances here. To me, what this smells like is gonna be going on a bike ride in Venice. It's gonna be something that is not necessarily gonna be like vacation, like you're going to the beach. It's not necessarily gonna be something like you're going this, that style of vacation, really. It's gonna be one that's gonna be like a bike ride on your day off. And it's gonna be John Barbados Artisan Pure. Now imagine a clean white t-shirt. Say you're like waking up on an off day at around like noon or so, and you want that kind of vibe where you're gonna be getting up, going get on a bike, no cares in the world. Here you go. This is what you're gonna wanna put on. Now performance issues with this are pretty bad. It's not the best, but this cost me like 20 bucks at the stores. I think it's like around 50 bucks on, on you know, online. But if you can find a deal on this, snag it up while you can. Rumor has it, rumor has it that they filed for bankruptcy. I don't know what that means for the fragrance itself, but we'll see. Again, guys, number eight is John Barbados Artisan Pure. Next, let's take Artisan Pure and let's give it a niche quality with some additional better notes in my opinion. And you get something that is very niche. It is a very beautiful scent. It's something that is extremely enjoyable. Something that I highly recommend that everyone, you know, at some point gets a decant up at least. Just so that you can enjoy this wonderful citrus mint fragrance that is Zerjoff Renaissance. Now take any of the performance issues from John Barbados Artisan Pure Eliminate that, add some more natural ingredients, and you get this. Citrus mint balm that is Serge Off Renaissance. This is probably one of the most refreshing on this entire list. One of them, not the most, but it's one of the most refreshing on this entire list. Again, the downside of this is that it is expensive. This is not cheap fragrance. This is one that if you were to have one single niche fragrance for spring and for summer for the warmer weather, this week, this is what I would recommend you go with. But not only would this be good in say the spring and summer, this is also this could also pass in the winter. It's been passed for a signature scent if you wanted to wear it in say like the winter. I know there are better options. There's more bolder fragrances, more like gourmand or tobacco or honey sweet fragrances that you might want to wear in the winter. But this one would be a good one to go with year round, in my opinion. The reason why I say it's a must smell is because the quality of this scent. This is the kind of quality that when you're comparing it with 
Revenge of the Lost Pure, you'll see what I mean by this is a higher quality scent than this would ever be. And performance, sillage, compliments, this blows that out of the water. Now they're not quite in par in line with each other, but like I said, this is basically taking the Barbados Arsene Pure and making it better in every way possible. You get this. As again, that was Derjoff Renaissance. Now next is gonna be a summer staple for a lot of us. It's gonna be one that is also great for being a signature scent, hence it was mine at one point. I was really glad to get back into my collection. And as you can see, I've worn a fair bit of it so far. I've had it again probably for three weeks now. Good bit out of there. But number six is gonna be your Sashi Poron. This stuff is gonna be great for a signature scent. It is something that you wear year round. Does shine in the, in the warm weather though. This 100% shines in the warmer weather, but it is clean enough for you to wear it in say the winter or the colder weather, especially if you're working in an office, simply because those offices are climate controlled and it can be, you know, negative 10 degrees outside. And this is still gonna be gonna be, you know, projecting off your skin pretty well if you're inside. Inside year round banger right here, guys. Now, next we're gonna go back to the 90s here. We're gonna go back to a fragrance that was a 90s table for a lot of us. It's one that is still used by, by a bunch of us as kind of like a nostalgic reasons, but to me, it's still relatively new to my collection. There are a ton of flakers of this fragrance, but I've yet to find anything that really gives off that same vibe. Six is gonna to go to Azaro Chrome. Perfect gym scent, perfect day off scent, per perfect, you know, refreshing scent, because it is cheap, affordable, and really easy to wear. It gives off like an aquatic metallic vibe that's very unique and it's one that, I, like I said, it's this one that you need to get your nose on if you haven't already. And guys, that is Azaro Chrome. Number five on this list is gonna be, you don't know what this is, this could be anything. <sighs> Number five on this list is gonna go to Sean John Unforgivable. Now, the reason why I send this, long story, you can go back in one of my videos and check that out. If you haven't already, consider that subscribe down below. That way you'll get to find out how this came to be like this. But the reason why it's here is because this is very similar to Creed Millicium Imperial. The difference is, is really going to be the performance issues, which I've heard that there are some pretty severe performance issues with the newer batches. But the, the reason why I have this on here is because I want you guys to know if you're going out to, you know, get yourself a summer collection of fragrances, it's okay to buy things that are considered clones. This could be considered a clone or is considered a clone of Millicium Imperial for like, this costs like 20 bucks online. Millicent Imperial, some are $300. It's, it can be really steep. I highly recommend getting a decant of, you know, something like, like this and a, a decant of whatever it's trying to clone, just so you can see the difference between the two. Just so you can see that there is some quality difference, but sometimes the scents are pretty close. But the clone topic, that'll go for another video. Number four was Sean John Unforgivable. Four kind of rolls into number three as well. It's gonna be something that is very similar to something else, but it's cheap. And one thing, guys, about summer fragrances, a lot of the time they need to be refreshed and resprayed. So you don't want to go out necessarily and buy something that's super expensive because they won't necessarily last a long time. So number three is going to be Jimmy Choo Man Ice. Guys, this stuff kind of blows away off your skin within an hour of wearing it. But for while you have it on, it smells fantastic. Which this is kind of turned into like my post-workout scent because I can spray it on, you know, go about my day, go, go do some cardio. By the time I'm done with my cardio, this is worn off. But what it smells kind of similar to is gonna be Dior Homme Cologne. Which guys, if you know anything about Dior, you know it's gonna cost a lot of money. This though, you can find a rack store for about 20 bucks. And it's why I recommend this over the Dior Homme Cologne, especially if it's something that you're gonna be wearing, you know, bringing it back with you, spraying over and over again. Maybe even just own this in case you do own the Dior Homme Cologne. You wanna have a refresher later on that they can carry with you and just know it's cheap and you can throw it in your gym bag. You get this. Again guys, that is Dior, or, Again guys, that is Jimmy Choo Man Ice. Number two on this list is going to be a fragrance that I would suggest being a staple in your collection. Whether you started with a designer and graduated to niche or indie, this is one that I feel like can be appreciated year round by anyone. It's fresh, easy to wear, aquatic, and just a fun fragrance. It is Nautica Voyage. Now there are flunkers of this, but this is still the king in my opinion. Just ask the Amazon, they'll tell you. It's a bit synthetic, but it lasts, it projects, and it smells nice. It's not super aquatic, really. It's really not. It's fresh, clean, out the shower kind of scent. It's not super aquatic, really, which is kind of surprising for the name being Voyage. You get a nice green apple note in the opening that kind of transitions into just being a clean scent. Probably the most inoffensive fragrance in my entire collection. And out of any on this list, honestly, I would suggest you get your nose on this one first. So you can have a range of what a cheapy designer is, because this is going to be the Definition of a cheapy designer. Again, guys, that is Nautica Voyage. Now, lastly, I have one more, but before we do that, if you would consider hitting that like and maybe share if you want to, but 
that fragrance is going to be Lom Otim, which if you've been here for a while, you know it's my favorite. It's refreshing, it's crisp, pulls the compliments, and girls love it. But sadly, has been discontinued. So if you haven't already tried it out, I suggest you doing so soon. Stat. It's the ginger and I think grapefruit in the opening that really pulls me in and just really makes me enjoy the scent. It is sharp, but it's the same kind of sharp that this is. Same kind of sharp that the Dolce Bond Light Blue Intense is, which makes it an extreme compliment getter. But guys, that is my 10 must smell summer fragrances for men. If I miss any, be sure to tell me down in the comments what I missed. But guys, that is that. Like I always say, keep it gent, love your scent, and I'll see you all next time.